draw the products of the following diels alder reactions. What is a diels alder reaction? This is a reaction between a diene and a enophile under heat conditions that produces a cyclohexene. We must have a conjugated diene, which means that we have to have double, single, double bond, and it could have other things around it, but we must have double, single, double, that's our diene, and we must have a dienophile. A dienophile is any molecule that contains a double or a triple bond. Here I'm showing a simple example of our Diels-Alder reaction that we will use for more complicated problems. So I have shown here, this is my diene and this is my dienophile. And I have shown three arrows for the mechanism of this reaction. This reaction is concerted, everything happens at the same time, and three arrows are responsible for the mechanism. The first arrow is going from 1, 2 to 1, 6. So we're using the double bond between carbon 1 and 2 to create a bond, a new bond between carbon 1 and 6. We're then moving the double bond from 5, 6 to 5 and 4. And then we use the double bond between 3 and 4 to connect carbons 3 and 2 in a new bond, creating our cyclohexene. In order to do this reaction, what do we have to do? So here we have an example above. First, we must identify our diene and dienophile. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Let's look at our diene and dienophile. This is my diene and this must be my dienophile. Double, single, double and a double bond. That's the first thing that we have to do. Next, we will align our diene and dienophile facing each other in order to make it look like the example that I have shown before to make our numbering and arrows easier. Notice that my diene is already lined up like it's supposed to. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to redraw it. My dienophile here is not vertical, it should be vertical. So what I will do is I will draw my double bond vertically and then one carbon is attached to chlorine and another carbon is attached to this big group, C double bond OOCH3. Notice that in relationship to the double bond, the two groups are on opposite sides, which is very important. So this is this dienophile, this is trans, my double bond is trans. So I am going to make sure to put these two groups on opposite sides. And now they're lined up like the example that I have shown below. Let's go ahead and highlight my diene and dienophile so we do not get distracted by other atoms such as chlorine. We just have to pay attention to the diene and dienophile. I will go ahead and I will follow my numbering. You can number any way you want, but I suggest being consistent numbering it this way. So I am going to follow my numbering. One, two, three, four, five, and six. To predict the products, we do not need to show the arrows, but it's not going to hurt us. And by the way, these arrows could be clockwise or counterclockwise. So I am just following the arrows that I have shown in my example. And next, I'm going to draw the product. Now my product, I just always draw a cyclohexene. So let's go ahead and show cyclohexene. And again, we're going to number it the same way, following my example. If you are going to number it randomly, if you're going to number this molecule randomly, this molecule randomly, you will not get the correct product. You must be consistent. So just follow my numbering. Next, I am done with the product uh, for my diene and dienophile, and I need to make sure that I did not miss any of the atoms or molecules attached. For example, carbon number five has a methyl group. Let's show it. 
Carbon number four has a methyl group. I'm going to show it as well. Carbon number one has a chlorine. I have to show it. Carbon number two has this ester group and I'm going to show it as well. Now, if we look at other carbons, three and six, they didn't have anything attached. So we have taken care of all the other atoms for our product. The last thing we have to look at is stereochemistry. Stereochemistry is concerted in a zeal cell, the reaction, which means we keep stereochemistry the same. If you look at our dienophile here, we said that chlorine and the ester group were on opposite side, that this was trans. In the product, we have to keep it trans as well. In order to show this product as trans, we will put one substituent on a dash and another on a wedge. For example, we can put chlorine on a dash and our ester could be on a wedge. And we can draw the uh, another product. So let's just redraw where my chlorine is on a wedge and my ester will be on a dash. And these are the products for the Diels Alder for the first Diels Alder example. Now let's look at the second Diels Alder example. What do you do first? Identify diene and dienophile. I see double, single, double, that's my diene, and a double bond, that's my dienophile. Notice my diene is not looking is not looking its best because we want the two double bonds to be on the same side next to each other. This is called the S cis conformation. If they're not, we have to twist around the single bond so they are on the same side. So if we twist around the single bond, notice if we number one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Notice that carbon two has a methyl group and carbon three has a methyl group. So this is my molecule. After I twisted it, I'm going to get rid of these numbers so we're not confused when we're doing the actual Diels Alder reaction. But notice that this molecule is actually the same as the one above one once we twist it. So we're done with that. And now again, our dienophile has to be aligned like this with our diene. And again, one carbon on this dienophile has a chlorine and another carbon has an ester group. In this case though, these two groups are on the same side of the double bond, they're cis. So I'm going to make sure to put them on the same side of the double bond as well. Next, you can see that this must give me the same product except for the stereochemistry. So again, I will write one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I'm going to show my arrows. Again, we don't have to show arrows to predict the products, but they're useful. And my product is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, double bond between four and five, one and two, one has chlorine, and two has an ester group. 5 has a methyl group, 4 has a methyl group. What is the stereochemistry of chlorine and the ester group? They're on the same side, this is cis. So either we show both of them on a dash like this, or we show both of them on a wedge. So let's go ahead and show both of them on a wedge. There we go. And these must be the products for my second example. I hope you found this video helpful. This is Maya Lochi. Let me know in the comments what you're working on in your organic chemistry class now.